Hey guys, welcome back to the series where education meets gaming uh, and Zoo Tycoon is uh, what we're playing. So this is my zoo and starting from this episode we are going to uh, we're going to play with our little friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to build a little bit more of our zoo and if you've seen previous episodes of the series you'll see that we actually go sort out all our animals first uh, and then uh, go and put in some new animals. We're going to start with some decorations today after we've uh, sorted out our kangaroos. Poops have been cleaned! Exhibit items, animal care. So you just got to edit the station and refill that. Uh, and then refill this. There we go. Now, uh, now that's there, uh, we've got to uh, see how our animals are doing. Okay. Okay. Now we need to go over to here. These are where our giraffes are at. Okay, these guys are pretty hungry. So what we're going to do is we are going to change uh, the interactions interaction center. Um, we're going to change this interaction center so that they can eat whenever they like. But first, poops must be cleaned. Not that one. Animal care. Not that one. Interactions. There we go. Edit interaction cell. Okay. Build a station. There we go. There we go. Now giraffes can uh, eat at will. Right, so in today's episode we are going to need to... Oh my god, I love his hippo thing. Uh, right, in today's episode we are going to need to build our new interaction. So we are going to build a new exhibit. And we're going to go with the grass plains. Uh, the grasslands. Grassland small. There we go. We'll put that there. Then uh, put this here. Connect this here. And then connect here. There we go. Now we only need some animals. Now which animals are we going to adopt in this episode? Okay, so this is grassland, so let's see what we can uh, do. Now we can have antelopes. Yep, we're going to go with antelopes. 
Okay, so let's see. Uh, the Nyla antelope is a spy or horned antelope found in southern Africa. Minimum social group is four animals. So, I don't think we can use this. I don't think we can use this type of a... Uh, because we can, we can only have three animals in this thing. So, we're just going to go with... Build Zoo uh, Exhibit. This, uh... And this holds up to three. So we can have the antelopes, but their social needs are going to be a bit lower than usual until we can upgrade our thing. So that is what we're going to do. That is, that is what's happening right now. We are going to do this. So, uh, oh, okay. Let's put, uh, let's adopt the new animals. Antelopes. And we're going to go with the Nyala antelope. Steve, start researching. Okay, so, uh, okay. Here is a small animation, like in every, uh, like in every video, uh, about the Nyala antelope, while I put them in. Well, I'll start researching. Welcome back my peeps. The research has been completed. You guys know more about Nyala antelopes now and we are all happy for it. So who are we gonna go with? Now I kind of like to have uh, some babies. So we can either have Matt or Rory. So I reckon we're gonna need a male, uh, a female, uh, and a baby. Now, I kind of love his spot, his stripes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with Sparky. Then Millie. It's epidemic. Oh no, your animals have a bad case of irritable bowel syndrome. Gosh dang it. Okay, let's, uh, let's adopt Millie, and then let's adopt Rory. Now we're going to need some exhibit items, uh, which includes animal care. So let's build a station. Let's uh, see. Uh, antelopes. We'll have a fruit feeding station. Then we need. We're gonna have a moose cleaning station because uh, we need them to keep clean. Uh, and then we need uh, some enrichments for them. Now this, uh, this say uh, uh, antelopes. What can, ah rope toys are what antelopes like.
There we go. A weathered racker. Whacker. There we go. So we're just going to put that one in there. And that these these guys are just going to love this. Now, this uh, this see our animals. So here we have Sparky. He's our he's our antelope. He's our male. Look at the size of his horns. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, the animal happiness is kind of low, but as soon as he gets his hunger up, that will be very much all good. Right, it's, uh, this is Rory. Look at him. Ah, oh, he's adorable. Okay, now, this is Millie. She is the one that's going to mother Rory. I hope. It's, it's, it's going to be good. Uh, okay, now let's... Uh, now that we've done that, now that we've done that, we now have to go uh, and uh, take care of our irritable bowel syndrome situation. So if we go into zoo view, uh, we'll be able to uh, ping our animal's uh, hygiene. Okay, all animals are good. Social, uh, that's fine. Habitat. I'm trying to look for poops. Happiness. Ah, guess that. Uh, guess happiness is really good. Decoration. That is what. That is the next thing we are going to do. Uh, but I need. Oh, okay. Okay, that's like... I'll just have to keep on going with the uh, poops. Ah, oh, that's amazing! It means they like each other. Yes, I love it when things like each other. There we go, that's all sorted. So now, what we're gonna do is we're just going to build another bit of the zoo. We're not going to have animals yet because animals are kind of like a one per video thing. But we're going to need some, uh, we're going to need some decorations. So let's go and get ourselves some scenery. Now, we need the savannah around that area. So let's, uh, savannah rock medium. It might have been worth getting a savannah rock. Oh, almost did it. Almost. Uh, I think I can get that in there. But it's going to be a very tight squeeze. Yes! And our zoo frame has increased. This is good. We can now have a zookeeper center. But what we're going to need to do is we're going to still need to put more time into the decorations. So we're going to have a small tree. Uh, around this area because it's a, a savannah area.
that includes this area as well. And then we're going to have Savannah's small tree here. There we go. Then it's Savannah's small rock. Okay, the Savannah small rock is kind of a bit big. Maybe I can have this one? No. Okay. I tried. I'm sorry. Now, uh, we're going to need some grassland, uh, grassland rocks. Oh, actually. No, 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 no. I kind of want to have, uh, kind of want to have some fountains. So, we're going to research this item. It'll take 44 seconds, so that will be in the next episode. Uh, but let's see if we can... Uh, oh, can't have lakes yet. Let's put, a pla let's put a plaza in, shall we? We'll put the plaza here. And... Uh... Okay. Now we can just... Okay, let's just connect this again, uh, which will go here. Now, uh, let's customize this uh, this plaza. Okay, so customize the slots. So this is like going to be uh, the grass and leaves feeding station in Savannah Small has run out. Okay, okay, we're going to need to. We'll quickly do this, and then we'll put this. Uh, Let's put... Yes! The epidemic is over! Oh, yes! Love it. Okay, so, add a new bolt-on. So, uh, to go with the water effect, we're going to go with the beach long tables. So, it is possible for people to bring their own, uh, their own lunch. But, uh... It's good. It, it, it's good. And we just got the achievement. Yes. This this is good. Uh, we're going to have a, a a beach medium planter here. Uh, then the beach long tables along here. Edit. Uh, replace. Oh, no, not that one. Okay, that will do it. Let's do it just nicely. Right, now let's uh, customize the trees. We're going to go with beach trees around this area. Um, the trash cans, we are, or because I'm British, I will say rubbish cans or, or rubbish bins. Uh, we're going to go with a outback trash can. Um... The spare benches, we're going to go with the blue. The walls, a medium beach wall. And the path. We're going to have a checkered path. There we go. I like it. it. It separates this from the rest of the zoo. It's a nice, per quiet place when you just need that time to uh, to relax, to get your head on straight. Now, I know that most, zoo most zoos do not have this, but uh, I, I'm thinking about the, I'm thinking, this is where I think about the people, you know, the people with uh, social difficulties, uh, you know, people with autism. That is, uh, that is the people I'm doing this bit for. It's nice, nice calming colours, a nice fountain. It it opera, it obviously separates each thing. Uh, it it separates it from the rest of the zoo, uh, kind of. You can still hear the noises, but uh, I think it's uh, I think it's all good. I like it. Also, it's right next to this. It's right next to the giraffes, and our giraffes are amazing. 
So, at the moment, this is our zoo. It is actually pretty cool, isn't it? This is this is good. But guys, we have just about run out of time in this video. Sorry, it's such a short one. Uh, I have uh, been a bit busy today. Um, but guys, thanks again all so very much for watching. You can find me on Twitter at MadforCake41. You can also find me on uh, Live Me at MadforCake41. I have used uh, Video Scribe to animate the information and Steve has been created using Daz 3D. Um, if you did like this video, please give me a like. Please share with your friends. If they are interested in animals, please help me get out there. Uh, and if you really did like this video, please give me a subscribe. It helps me a whole bunch. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in another video.